Hello. Hello, Doctor. I have another mission for you should you choose to accept it. Payment shall be rendered in the form of a new video intro. This message will now self-destruct. Wait, what? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update from me, Martin. Um, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, thank you for joining me this week uh, for another update. Um, let's see what we have in store for you. But before that, uh, as always, I want to give a big shout, shout out and a big thank you to all of my sp sponsors. This week, the uh, Ride the GNU sponsor is System76. Um, if you saw my pre previous video, they have kindly supplied me with a computer, which is allowing me to develop Inkscape much faster than pre pre previously. Thank you so much, System76. Um, I've put the link in the uh, show notes for what they sent me. Um, okay, so did I actually get up to any work this week? That's a very good question. Uh, I think I need another drink of tea. So there are actually some bugs that were fixed this week. Um, I fixed a terrible bug with the tab navigation. This is probably one of the most heinous things that I've seen in a long time. The canvas, if you're on the canvas and you press tab, it'll go to the next item. That was stealing tabs from the rest of the application. So if you were in any other dialogue, even preferences, and you were trying to type something in and then press tab to go to the next field, it wouldn't, right? The canvas would just steal it. Um, yeah, that's fixed. Uh, and in fact, that's so important that it's like, that has to be fixed. It's just ridiculous. Um, there was a bad bug in the PDF importer. Uh, it actually was a bug throughout Ink Ink Inkscape in a very strange way. But if a piece of text had spaces at the front of a line, those spaces would be stripped out. Um, this also happened on copy and paste. So sometimes you would import a piece of PDF text and it would look fine, and then you would copy and paste the text and it would screw up. Um, so I fixed the un underlying issues that caused that. Um, there was an issue with the LPs, LPE paste. So when you paste a live path effect and the nodes wouldn't update correctly on paste, um, that's fixed. At least it's fixed for the recursive nodes. I've got some testing coming in that's suggesting that it's not entirely uh, all fixed for all case, cases yet. Uh, I did fix a really interesting pro problem with, with the on-canvas la la labels. This is any time like with the measuring tool or, or the snapping where it tells you what the sna snapping is, that it pops up a little piece of text. That text was incorrectly uh, formatted. So it was calculating the size of that box based on one font and then uh, printing it to the screen in another font. This created artifacts if those fonts were different. And on Mac OS, that was the case. And so you get these like trailing pixels as it was drawing these lab labels and it was leaving behind the very end of the text. Um, so that's been fixed. Uh, there was also weirdly a, an issue with spaces at the front of that text as well that I, I had to fix. Um, a lot of what I did this week was a uh, failing to fix a problem, a crash, a heinous crash, with uh, basically the, the, the text dialogue, the, the, the dialogue, not the toolbar, but the dialogue, has a crash that happens when you are resizing the text. It is, it is a terrible problem. It only happens if your computer is slow, which is a problem because I can't reproduce the crash because my computer, my new computer is too fast. Even if I start limiting the CPU and I start doing other stuff to it, I, j I can't seem to get it to crash. Um, I suspect that it also affects win Windows more, but mm, supposition. RS and PBS ha have both tried to help me uh, and they've been picking through the problem the, the problem as well. Uh, we're gonna keep trying at, 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 at it. We, we basically know what the problem is and the problem isn't inside Inkscape, it's inside a, of a li library called Pango and it's to do with threading if you know what that is. So it's a 
problem. It's also interesting that the exact same crash happens in other pro programs that also use this li library, which suggests that it's not an Inkscape issue, but it's a Pango issue. Um, okay, so I also finalized the job post posting. This is more administration issue. If you've seen the job po posting, Inkscape is now hiring. Uh, along with that, I wanted to hold a meeting inside the community so we could have a sort of frank discussion about uh, what it means for the Inkscape project to hire some somebody, what is the difference between paying somebody and volunteering, uh, how you can make a decision about when you when the project should pay for something and when it shouldn't, uh, when it should encourage volunteers, when it shouldn't, when it should ask volunteers to do free work and when it shouldn't. Uh, lots of very interesting questions, and I'm really glad that everybody came. Um, we had a really good discussion. It is recorded if you are very interested in that. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description as well for that. Okay, so let's get to in other Inkscape news. This is modifications to Inkscape that uh, I didn't do. Uh, we skipped la last week so we could do the About Screen con con Contest, so let's catch up. Uh, Nathan Lee uh, made cursors more visible in text editing, which is great. He also allowed the short shortcuts in the pen tool to, to persist. James fixed two issues in the guides. He fixed the dragging and de deleting of locks, locked guides. It's more, more consistent now. Uh, he fixed guides that move around when you resize the document, which has got to be annoying. Uh, RS fixed uh, loads of bugs in the eraser tool. The eraser tool is way more sta stable now. Um, we also restore fil fil filter editor on first open handle of the control Z uh, in the pen tool or control Z for our American lis listeners. And he prevented the zoom rubber band from sticking to the can canvas if you've accidentally changed the tooling. Javier fixed tons of issues in the, in the live path effects, Boolean operations, loading path problems, better wi wi widgets and improvements in the L LP copy. Uh, Thomas fixed an issue with the PDF ex uh, export with um, the, the text was distorted when he was doing uh, text to path. And uh, a, a new name, Bashir Ahmed, added a label to the text tool and toolbar. Very simple addition, added a UX element. Um, so thank you to everybody who contributes to Inkscape. Uh, Next week, I'm going to be trying to continue to work on the Pango issue, and I'm also going to try and fix some other crash, crashes. Uh, please let me know if you see any issues in the development or the alpha releases that you think I should be paying attention to. And uh, thank you very much for watching.